Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm William Haynes. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Playboy did a poll that ranked the world's most sexy cities, and the results were 10 Portland, 9 San Diego, 8 Las Vegas, 7 Seattle, 6 Boston, 5 San Francisco, 4 Miami, 3 Chicago, 2 Los Angeles, and number 1 New York. Really? New York? New York is the number one most sexy city. I got robbed for 19 cents in a McDouble walking down Times Square. That ain't sexy. Also, this happened to me in New York while filming an actual video. What do you think is something that can get somebody unsad? You deserve that. That's probably true. Playboy claims that their poll is very accurate given that many metrics were involved, including cities with the most nightlife and thousands of bars and clubs. Which one of these cities does Emma Watson live in? None of them. Then this poll is inaccurate and racist. I like Emma Watson, but I've only seen two of the Harry Potter movies because I fell asleep during the rest of them on a plane ride. Oh, it gets good around four. News transition! Most of you are likely aware that America is currently in the process of electing the next leader of the executive branch and everybody's jumping in. A guy related to the guy that had us in all those wars and a woman who's married to the guy who had this happened to him. Damn it. Well, then you might be interested to hear about a new contender from North Carolina being known as Dee's Nuts. Steve, do you have my keys? Keys to what? My suicide van? That's not real. Not yet. Dee's Nuts currently has a 9% favorability rating in North Carolina, even though it turns out that he's actually just a 15-year-old sophomore in high school. In the same poll, Hillary Clinton is at about 38%, and Donald Trump is at 40. On July 26, he did, in fact, fill out a Form 2, a statement of candidacy. And this just proves that our way of government is flawed and oftentimes wrong, because he's not being heard! I think Dee's Nuts understands the people. Dee's Nuts... Okay, okay, now this is a dumb bit. Let's move on. Next, Next story. story. Just when you thought Nazis were finally out of the dang news, it turns out a massive Nazi ghost train filled with Nazi treasures, money, gems, and gold was uncovered in Poland. This is some straight up Indiana Jones shit, Will. The train was hidden deep inside a long forgotten tunnel on a mountain in Poland. Legend has it that the Germans hid their treasures as insurance policies to help fleeing war criminals escape and set up new lives at the end of the Second World War. That's some creepy scheming stuff right there. Creepy scheming stuff. And on top of that insanity, a gold bar worth over 12,000 pounds, around 18.8 thousand American dollars, was found in a lake near Hitler's mountain hideaway in, I'm gonna butcher this, Birch Teskaden, high up in the Bavarian mountains. This of course has Nazi treasure hunters going nuts, as new technology has given them a better chance of finding these priceless treasures, including art and other antiquities. Indiana Jones and the Nazi ghost train. Huh? Am I right? Would that be good? Chris Pratt? Let's do this! Of course, hunting for these treasures is actually illegal and authorities capture would-be fortune and glory hunters every week, but someone's gotta find that stuff, you know, for history and all that. There's even rumors that Hitler had UFO-like flying saucers developed, built, and hidden underground, preparing for a possible Fourth Reich if they were able to survive. Spoiler alert, they didn't. This is terrifying and fascinating all at the same time, and if you want to learn more about this insanity, check out the description for some links. Uh... And in not Nazi news, you know how you're not supposed to use your cell phone at the gas station? Well, here's why. Yeah, uh, that's a fire at a gas station. And what caused it? A cell phone. The CCTV footage was pulled from a petrol station in Hyderabad, India, where a man is seen waiting at the gas pump while another man comes over to pump the gas into his bike. He reaches for his phone, and boom! Flames at a gas station! Whoops. Well, others say that the cell phone warning is a myth, stating that it's impossible for a fire to start with a cell phone near gas. And what we're seeing in the video is actually due to a hot, exposed engine. But it is possible for static electricity to be the culprit. According to the Petroleum Equipment Institute, they've accounted for 158 reports to date of gas pump fires due to static electricity. But that's not always due to cell phones. But look, whether it's because of a cell phone or not, why chance it? Be safe at the pump, friends. Touch a piece of metal before grabbing that nozzle, capiche? Finally, a grueling and intensely physically demanding U.S. Army Ranger School is graduating their first female recruits. All right, this is awesome, Will. Two women have passed the training program, which included 380 men and 19 women. 94 men will graduate alongside the two women. Should be noted, though, the women will graduate, but will not serve in the 75th Ranger Regiment. This is because the U.S. military hasn't yet lifted a ban on women serving in the fighting force. Though this is the first year women have attended the training course after President Obama ordered the military to accept women in combat roles by 2016. Now, the military is currently trying to determine how best to integrate women into combat roles, and opening that Ranger training course is part of that effort. But listen, women are weak, am I right? They can't fight in real combat situations. Women can't fight. <clears throat> For now, the two women will be given the prestigious ranger tab to wear on their uniforms as a symbol of pride for having been able to complete the training course where they train for up to 20 hours a day with limited sleep. All right, this is awesome. A step in the right direction for equality and for humankind. Currently, female soldiers make up about 15% of the army, and since the decision to open combat positions to women, the Department of Defense says that they have granted access to about 91,000 of the 331,000 army positions that were unavailable to them. Yes for progression. Yay, progression! So what do you guys think about the news today? Would you actually 
vote for a 15 year old if it was legal? Do you think the government put that gold train there so us simpletons have something to talk about? Let us know in the comments down I below. I would vote for that 15 year old if it came down to the 15 year old and Donald Trump. I'd probably vote for him too. Also, hey, while you're still here, SourceFed's doing another movie screening here in Los Angeles with all the hosts in attendance and Philly D. We're watching The Visit. So if you're scared of scary movies, you can hang out with Will. I'll be in the hallway because that movie is too scary for me. I'm afraid. If you live in the greater Los Angeles area, click the link in the description to win some tickets. We're doing it Wednesday, September 2nd, 2015 at a to be determined movie theater location. I'm William Haynes. I'm William Haynes. I'm William Haynes. I'm, I'm William Haynes. Ah, oh, that hurt my foot to be honest. This is way harder than I thought. All right, you ready to do some riddles? Yes. Okay, good. All right, good. <laughs> Apparently we have to take three shots so far. We're gonna do three shots before we try and solve some simple Riddles. In prison recently for going up to a teenage girl asking her, if I show you something, do you promise not to scream and whipped out a...